training with, you know, walks, hit batters, that type of thing, but you battled the whole way. We did, you know, and, and, uh, and that was kind of what I talked to those young pitchers about, is just being able to throw strikes in there and trust what they have. And, you know, we didn't do a very good job of it early, uh, but certainly uh, Paul Calait, uh, you know, I thought Jonathan Roberts came in and got a big out for us. Uh, but then Zane kind of, you know, held the fort there for, uh, for three innings and then obviously got a big hit. But, you know, we just keep battling and, uh, you know, we needed to today and, and we beat a very, very good team. I mean, they're on top of our league for a reason. Uh, so to, uh, to win this series was big for us. At what point in the final base hit did you make up your mind that you were going to send him? But you have no zero outs in your call. I knew I probably shouldn't have, but I knew he's my <laughs> fastest guy, and I'm like, if they make a great throw here, they make a great throw, and they almost did. Did you think of bunting at all? Um, McCullough was kind of wild, but the Holtis guy was more of a control pitcher. I didn't want to bunt because I felt like if I had Zane bunt and gave him an out, they'd walk Polka, and I wanted one of those two guys with the chance to uh, win the game for us. The Bob and the order really battled hard at the plate, too. They did. You know, I mean, if you put Mitch Ernest in there, and he gets a hit and almost got a hit to win the game. Uh, Smitty had a big at bat here and there. You know, I thought Matt Gonzalez did a nice job. Mott got on. So, bottom of the order definitely uh, helped us today. Three innings. When was the last time in your life you pitched three innings? Probably back in high school or summer ball or something like that? Um, actually, last time I threw three innings was at uh, Clemson. Um, oh, I got you, the loss there. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, yeah, it's, kind of it's been a while one. since uh, I've thrown three. Uh, I think I threw three one time last year against Miami, too, in the AC tournament. Um, but, yeah, back to high school, I haven't really thrown that much. But uh, kind of felt like I threw more than that after catching. We yeah. talked to we talked to Daniel about you know uh, disappointment after the eighth inning when you had a chance to to score and then seven. coming back out in the ninth. Or, yeah, uh, you guys just seemed to be up the whole game and you know knowing you had a chance to come back. Yeah, I think so. I mean, there's there's a different uh, atmosphere in the dugout. Um, we know we have to keep winning, and uh, if we want to get into regional, if we want to get into the AC tournament, we got to keep winning. And uh, I feel like uh, right now it's, it's the same uh, mentality we had going into this tournament. I mean, we're, we're not going to lose, and we're going to put up a lot of runs, and uh, we all know we need to do it. Well, this looks like a team that's all of a sudden doing whatever it needs to do to win. I mean, I don't think very often when the pitching has given up eight or nine walks, hitting four batters, anybody's going to say, well, the formula here is for Polka and Zane Evans to throw four shutout innings to close this one out as we rally. That's not your standard formula, but it's a sign that you guys are doing what you need to do. Yeah, I mean, we're def that's that's what you got to do. We got to get guys in there that can throw strikes. And, uh, I mean, Polka, Polka's came in every time, and he's been throwing strikes. And uh, I think uh, whatever needs to be done, we're finding a way to do it, and that's that's great. That's what we need out of our team right now. What did you know about the, the pitcher you were